Oh boy, oh boy, have you ever thought you were so out of tune and out of touch with humanity that you might as well be a chimpanzee swinging from tree to tree because that is what this clip has done to this gentleman, Hassan B. He is a YouTuber, a Twitch streamer, sorry, he does stuff online. He basically has come out with a clip of a century. He's a millionaire, obviously, all streamers are these days. Hassan Pike claims that a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you in the same way streaming absolutely will. Firstly, I have some questions. I think the most benign, boring jobs in the world suck the shit out of you and make it impossible for you to enjoy general life due to timing, due to hours, due to the stress. You know, some people can't even turn off their heads when they go home because work is just at the forefront of their mind. Streaming, yes, it's similar, but at least you get compensated. These poor people are out on the streets fucking slaving away for corporate Piggy Wilsons in suits. While lucky people who, let's be honest, we'd all love to be one, streamers get to sit on their ass playing fucking Minecraft all day, commentating, reacting to YouTube videos, like what the f- You know, there's no comparison, but let's play the clip and you can, you know, come to your own decision if this man has any sense or he's just smoking literal green. Yes, a real job can be gruesome, a real job can make you very tired, but a real job doesn't suck the soul out of you, you know what I mean? in the same way that nine hours of streaming absolutely will. So it's a valid point, you know, nine hours of anything will suck the shit out of you. I mean, you know, if you were a streamer and you were constantly getting hate, then yeah, it probably would be. But I like to think, you know, I'm not doing this because I want to be everyone's friend. I want to entertain people. You know, the reason you take this sort of yin and yang, this, well, we'll give you something, but it might get a little bit shitty down the line. It's because of the reward. You know, you have a great audience. You get to meet so many cool people, have so many cool opportunities. That working in a fucking Tesco's, working in a supermarket doesn't quite provide. I think he's just very out of touch and ignorant to even come out with a quotation or a comment about this, saying that he has a, he's basically saying I have a harder life than most people in this world because I'm a Twitch streamer and I make a shit ton of cash. So... And he has nothing to say. He's reading his chat, and I think he's probably just lost like three million subs. I don't know how many uh, he has. So I'd I'd pay a lot of money to see this guy in a real job. You know what I mean? Let Let's actually go see this man in a real job and see what he has to say. Because I reckon he'd last thirty seconds, maybe a day maximum. There is no way in this man's life he has ever done a real job. I've actually I actually work. <sighs> I work daily, every day. I tell you what sucks the shit out of my soul more, making YouTube videos for fun. Granted, you know, this is in my spare time. Or going to work every day. Now, it's a difficult decision to make. However, if I could sit here, make a video and stream, I can bet, you know, actually, I would guarantee both my nutsacks, not one, but both, that I would choose that answer. What people do to be a streamer, to be a YouTuber, to be in the position he is, and he's just basically shitting, spitting on all these other people who have given him money out of their lower income salary, He's basically saying, yeah, you guys have it easy, actually. Give me your money. I'm the one, you know, I'm the one on the streets here fucking struggling to get by with like £3,000 worth of gamer gear in my back and a picture of the Queen or something. Y y you know what I mean? Like, she's dead, bro. It's time to put her in a, a grave. Don't hang her up for too long. No, 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 no. Social battery-wise, unless you're in retail, unless you're in fucking retail, it's very different. You're out of touch. I'm going to die, dude. There's motherfuckers who are accountants in here and they're misunderstanding what I'm saying. A real job does not expend your social battery in the same fucking way as someone who did a sales job, a real job. So I do sales, I've done sales for a number of years. Sales is the most demeaning, draining, batshit, crazy job in the world. It is mad. I've done uh, telesales, like, you know, calling on the phones, hence why I can chit chat shit forever. I've done loads of other sales jobs, you know, individual sales, sort of selling products to other business, you know, whatever it might be. I can tell you that shit was far more draining than anything else I've experienced in my entire life. It sent me down a hole I have not been able to to find myself out of yet. There is not a ladder in this planet, in this universe that was able to help me get out, all right? It has truly dampened me, broken me. But at the same time, it's taught me loads of important, valuable skills. What to do in certain situations, how to react, how to speak to people. I used to work in retail as well. I worked in a, as a supermarket, you know, in a supermarket, whatever, what have you. That's taught me how to put it with a lot of shit. I tell you now, especially because it was on the, you know, on the upper side, shall we say, you know, you wouldn't get your average Joe in there. It's sort of a more expensive one. It's not like a, a million pounds more, but it, it's slightly more expensive and you'd get some absolute CUNTs in there oh my goodness me they make you want to shoot your head clean off literally hang yourself from a rope and just die because you're on eight pound an hour like 50 cents a second that would be quite all right but you know what i mean you're on minimum minimum wage you put up with so much bs they blame you when their grapes are out of date even though you didn't buy them or you didn't put them in. you know what i mean you don't do that sort of shit all you do is just stack shelves and they think it's your problem i'm telling you as someone who did did both like nine hours of of constant performance and people pleasing 
paps you out from social scenarios. After nine hours of that, I could probably do fucking physical labor. It would not bother me. That's bullshit. I used to do physical laboring as well more recently when I moved. And I could tell you that shit was mentally, physically, and emotionally draining. It might have been fine when you got home because you could switch off, you know, you were just broken inside. But I tell you now, it's completely different. My videos were not as entertaining, not as good. I had to really fake my excitement. Like now, I'm in a different job now and I have a lot more effort, a lot more enthusiasm, I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. I can actually have a conversation and want to be here. Once I was doing like physical work, it was hard as shit. I wanted to die. You know, and this guy said he's done both. He's worked in retail, worked in sales or whatever. Okay, fair enough. How can you make that comparison? Like I was working like nine and a half hours a day. I tell you, when I got home, I did not want to speak to people because I've been speaking all day. So his point is slightly valid there, but the rest of it is complete BS. But I can't fucking do more social shit. That's my point. Like, okay, I kind of, it, that, that point, the rest of it is complete nonsense, it don't make any sense, but that slight statement there, I kind of get, when I used to get home, man, maybe it was just because I was a bit miserable and moody, but I did not want to speak to people, bro. My parents were like, how was your day? It's like, bro, it's the same as yesterday, I did the same shit all day, every day, and that probably had a knock-on effect, but, you know, I, I don't believe that's true. There are obviously real jobs out there that are good comparisons, service sector, people-pleasing jobs would be very similar, those are like, I think customer service type shit but like if you're an accountant or if you're even like in sales my interactions with clients was limited way more limited than like constantly having to do this for nine hours with like a back and forth interaction for nine hours that's what that's what like sucks your your social battery and you just tap out after it so it's a fair point, but I think that, you know, what you were going to say was it sucks your soul. And I disagree, man. I think community, you know, it's your type of person you are. I love, uh, you know, entertaining people. When I make someone laugh, I actually take note. Like, I enjoy that. When people comment and say that they really enjoyed it, it makes me feel fucking good inside. It makes me feel so happy. That's what I want to do. Whether it's, you know, a job, whatever it might be, whether it's just as a bit of fun like it is now. You know, I want to entertain people, whether that's somehow, like, you know, not YouTube, whatever it might be. I'm not saying I'm doing this to, you know, get big. Cause I actually just enjoy talking talking about things like you can probably tell I can't stop yapping sometimes but I actually just enjoy entertaining that's what I want to do in my life so I thought why not get some practice why not do something and try entertain people do something you're interested in look I get this guy's point in the fact that that it can be draining it is but you know what you got yourself into the rewards everything it, it, you know pros cons etc etc but I do agree where well, I've worked in sales jobs by the end of the day I was knackered but I think that's more to do with the soul destroying aspect of it I think it actually breaks your soul the way we are born and told to live we have to do this nine to five bs five days a week whatever it might be and it's it's absolutely soul destroying humans were not made for this we were meant to be living and out in the stick surviving finding food gathering supplies you know what i mean we're not meant to be working stocking shelves for people to get the food that's lame that's bs bro but look this guy's seriously out of date and I, I, out of touch as well and i think to put it on your you know it's one thing to think it but then to say it out loud to the people you know 99 percent of your viewers i presume are you know your average people who are going to be working nine to five doing that sort of shitty them shitty jobs that you know we are not of us want to do i do it you do it we don't want to be there and the fact he's sort of taken that pie and absolutely chucked it in their face and spat on them is a little bit uh disappointing upsetting whatever you want to call it I'm, i don't know who this guy is but i think he's seriously seriously misjudged his comments there